Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Let's get things rolling with our roll for bread. Six, sourdough. Oh, I love sourdough. Sourdough second sandwich in a row. Don't mind if I do. I love this bread. I'm a big sourdough guy. Next up, let's roll for our main. I actually have uh, these freezer sourdough rolls in my freezer. I said that twice. Basically, you take them up, put them in the oven for 15 minutes, and they're nice, hot, and ready. Oh, I'm so good. Nine. I mean, Pepper fresh sourdough is obviously better, but like, you know, I have sourdough on deck almost like a time. You know what I mean? Brony. Anyone have those Ninja Turtle toys that shot pizza discs when they were a kid? Just me. All right. Well, we've got. I do love pepperoni, too, though. In a row. Almost got like a themed week going here. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Five. Mons, nacho can you grab that link? Cheese. The only requirement for a cheese to be classified as nacho cheese is for it to belong to someone else. We got our. I was looking at champ because somebody posted a link to something. Um, what in the f did I just see? The only requirement for a cheese to be classified as nacho cheese is for it to belong to someone else. We got our cheese all warmed up here and we're gonna drizzle it on our sandwich and hopefully not make a huge mess. We'll see how that goes. Right. So if you want something ruined for you, maybe I actually it won't probably ruin it for you. It ruined it for me. Uh, but one of my friends when I was in high school used to work at the movie theater. And, um, you know, he was, he was leaving soon. So he grabbed some stuff on the way out the door. Uh, one day he was like, Hey, do you want, do you want some cheese? And I was like, sure. Why not? What do you got? And, uh, this dude drove to my house with a five pound bag of nacho cheese. And it's just literally a plastic bag. Just this big, just <clears throat> places it down. You, there's like a special machine like where the nacho cheese goes where you like attach it to it and it like sucks it out little by little but without it then you have to like cut the top and then it's like how do you reseal a giant bag of nacho cheese like what what do you do what do you, what do, you do with it and it, dude it was it was so weird to hold it it ruined it ruined the movie theater nacho cheese for me i just couldn't all right next up let's i was like nah dude that's it just kind of gross. Got one lettuce and eight pickled jalapeno. <laughs> Pandora's cheese has been unleashed. Jesus yes. Christ! All right, I've got romaine lettuce today, and maybe it'll help add a little structure to this. No, it, you think it you think yours. you'd want it? Now, it looks so gross. On the other hand, are it looks so gross. I was cheese. like, dude, add that to the pepperoni. This is really this what it is. Be a little bit spicy, just a little. But honestly, that's pretty perfect. Not too bad so far. Hopefully, we can finish out strong. <laughs> All right, let's roll cheese. that wild. Magic. I mean, kinda, yeah. Six. It's bacon bits. Salty, fatty, smoky. I don't like These bacon bits. Right at home on this sandwich. I don't like it's bacon bits. I think bacon bits are baked ass. potato bar, but in a good way. And last but not They're least, highly overrated sauce roll. Ten Taco Bell mild sauce. This is hilarious. From the cheese onward, we basically said, "Let's make this a Tex-Mex sandwich." Oh, yeah, we started with pepperoni, but eh, sure, taco sandwich. Anyway, it's nice to get rid of a couple of these packets of hot sauce. Every time you go through the drive-thru, you either get zero or a hundred packets. There True! Is no Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed it up It depends here. on who's working. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Today marks the one-year anniversary of Roll for Sandwich. My original video that went viral and started this series was posted one year ago today. And I just wanted to take a second and say thank you to everyone, whether you've been here from the beginning or you've just joined us. I love you all and you've changed my life. All right, now don't worry, we're still gonna cut it in half here. Still gonna make sure we check out that cross section. Well, it looks pretty good from here. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. This is gonna miss pain. Yeah, not bad. There's a pretty good combination of flavors here. It's not the best nacho cheese, but combined with everything else, it gets the job done. The jalapenos are nice and bright and shine through, pair well with the pepperoni. And the lettuce and the sourdough do a great job of holding everything together. The roll for sandwich birthday sandwich could have been much worse, that's for sure. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.6. And I'm going to call it the TMNT. Again, thank you so much for joining me on the wild ride that this past year has been. I'm Aww. looking forward to everything that's to come in year two. I'll see you Friday. Thank you for all the great content, buddy. Okay, next. Oh, Good Jesus. afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, yeah. and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Let's kick it off with our roll for bread. Two, waffle. The last waffle sandwich we had wasn't that great, but I think they have potential. They're not overly sweet, so it should go with a lot of things. Wait, first one's waffle? Wait, how long has waffle been on the list? A roll list? for bread. 
Oh, it did change it up. No, did it? Yeah, some of it did. Two waffle. The last waffle sandwich. That is an ego, not a waffle. Yeah, wasn't that we are not pulling technicalities on this one. I consider Eggos just as much of a waffle as any other waffle. It's not as it's it's like it's like saying that frozen bread is not bread. It's just less quality, true. It's more mass produced, true. But that doesn't make it not a waffle. Great, but I think they have potential. They're not overly sweet, so it should go with a lot of things. Let's roll for our main. What is that analogy? No, no. What do you mean? Okay. I, I feel like there's so many things you could say that, oh, this one's really high quality, you know, homemade. You know, like, let's say cookies, right? That's like if you have, if you buy a pre-made cookie dough mix at the store, you make cookies out of that. That isn't true cookies. You need to make it all, you know, from scratch. Like, that's how you make true cookies. And it's like, ah, you know, why not? Seven, ham. Well, this is the perfect time to roll ham because I've got some leftover honey ham from Easter. You know, and we're still firmly in. If it's leftover ham like that, I'm in. Sandwich territory. I love this so type I think of ham. We've got a pretty good start here. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Three provolone, round cheese to go with our round waffles, and the smoky and mild flavor of the provolone will go great with the ham. Next up, let's roll for roughage. Seven banana and eleven none. Honestly, if I was gonna have to roll banana, it- Wait, why is he opening it from the opposite side? It's good that it ended up by itself rather than with like pickles or something. Using my daughter's safety knife today, because you know what I do is so dangerous. Fruit and ham is good. Isn't, I know, isn't that like how monkeys open it? They open the banana from the opposite side? Yeah, like, is that's like, you know, like, that's how it, we, but we have, we have it advanced intelligence to open it from the opposite side. Good pairing and we have advanced intelligence. We understand that, you know, you just go like boop, you know, and it's good to go. You know, fruit and waffles is a good pairing too. So this one, <laughs> no, you don't. What do you mean? Still work. All right, let's hit it with a little wild magic. 17 potato chips. I'm going to use these limited edition dragon's breath lays that are essentially flaming hot kettle chips. They'll add a nice crunch. Wait a minute, I'm in. What is this? What are these? Oh, magic. 17 potato chips. I'm going to use these limited edition Dragon's Breath Lays that are essentially flaming Hot Kettle Chips. They'll add a nice crunch and essentially we'll just kind of be like putting hot sauce on this. I feel like hot sauce is a pretty normal thing to have with breakfast. So not entirely ruling this out quite yet. What was it called again? Hold on. It was called... Dragon's Breath Lays? No way they have it. Dude, that looks like some of the best chips I've ever seen, though. That I, would, I would do disgusting things chips. for these chips. They'll add a nice crunch, and essentially we'll just kind of be, like, putting hot I sauce would do, on this. I would do I feel like hot sauce is a unspeakable pretty thing things for this, these chips. So not entirely ruling this out quite yet. All right, last but not least, we have the D20 sauce roll. Nat 20! All right, that means I get to Dealer's pick. choice. Let's see here. What do we go with? What do we go with? I'm going to go with the absinthe orange jam. It's not incredibly sweet, but I think those fruity notes will be good with both the bananas and the ham. That then you've got that good. anise, like, licorice flavor from the absinthe that I think will be interesting with the spicy chips and everything Wait, together. what's the, this like, is, chunky bits? This is an experiment. We're going to see how bits? this turns out. Oh, yeah, just listen to that crunch. Let's get our toothpicks in here to hold it together. And let's go ahead and get it cut in half. So, Traco, maybe the two months. Sweet and spicy, let's take a little look at salty. That cross -section. Yeah. Oh, the ham looks so fing good. Well, this one was full of surprises, that's for sure. Here's hoping all those surprising elements come together into something good. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. This is definitely interesting. Not too bad. That thick cut juicy ham pairs really great with the different fruit elements. And I'm actually really digging the addition of those chips. I'd say this one was definitely a success. I think I'm gonna go ahead and rate this one an 8.4. And I'm gonna call it Green Fairies Brunch. Not a bad one. I think week, the banana was the only thing that was a little worse. awkward. But I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Everything else actually looked pretty good on that. I want those chips though. Those chips look so good. D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go!
Let's get it started with our roll for bread. Five pretzel bun. Man, there are a few. Th I am not a big pretzel guy. You, are you big? <sighs> I guess it depends. Pretzel bun versus like a regular pretzel. Do you consider them the same thing? No, I would. Ar I'd argue no, but things yes, quite at like the same a good time. pretzel bun. And this one is super soft and fresh. I just picked it up from the bakery this morning. So knowing my luck, that means I'm probably going to make it into some kind of horrible abomination sandwich. Next up, let's oh, no. go for Maine. You don't say that. It's cursed now. Three, seafood salad. Oh, the seafood no. seafood salad is a mix of oh, imitation mayo, no. celery, and oh, green onion. Oh, no. Not my first choice today, but it could have been much worse. I don't mind oh, this stuff. Right, no. Two categories uh oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Let's go for cheese. Three, provolone. Once again, no, provolone kind of kind of rolling right bread. now. I'm glad we rolled just plain old provolone instead of one of those fancy cheeses. They wouldn't be the best pairings with seafood salad. All right, next oh, up. Oh no, here it up. goes off the rails. Seven spinach and ten apple. Spinach will bring in a nice pop of color here and just a little bit of bitter. Okay, not. And not we'll get a nice worst, contrast not, to that with the apple. Not great, but not nice the worst. Could definitely be worse. I've had several salads that have paired spinach and apple together, and I think it works pretty well. Definitely, Just not sure how definitely it's gonna go with that uh, on salad. the better side. All right, let's hit it with a little wild magic. Nine cloves. Cloves have a very distinct flavor. You'll often find it paired with nutmeg and cinnamon. It's one of those spices that evokes fall. That being said, if I was going to put it on any sandwich, the fact that I'm putting it directly onto apple slices in a sandwich is pretty good luck. And last but not least, we've got the D20 sauce roll. 18, craft beer mustard. This is an interesting but not completely out of place combo. Honestly, the only thing out of place is the seafood salad. Otherwise, I'm kind of getting woodsy, German. There's some cohesion here. Let's go ahead and put I our I guess that's fair. This is probably together. a somnus sandwich. And let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Ooh. All right. The seafood is just I feel nah. like I generally have a pretty good idea of what these sandwiches are going to taste like before I bite into them. But not this one. So let's give it a taste. Hmm. Yeah. The seafood salad is definitely the oddball out here. Replace that with some chicken or some turkey. This thing would be pretty bomb. It's not bad, but there are clear ways that it could be improved. So I'm gonna say 6.8, and I'm gonna call it Der Herbstfisch. Now that that's done, I got something to show you. Furry oh. Fingers, the account behind Roll for Puppet, made me my very own sandwich puppet. It's based Aww. off the ingredients of sandwich number 41, and it's definitely got some beholder vibes. I need help naming it, so leave your best name suggestion in the comments, and I'll choose my favorite, and that person will win a prize. Have a good one, and I'll see you Wednesday. Oh, that's kind of cute.